Dear students, now we are going to discuss data transfer instructions and arithmetic instructions of 8051. Data transfer instructions are mainly used to transfer the data from source to destination. Immediate, direct, register and indirect addressing modes are used in this data transfer instructions. The first instruction is move instruction. This instruction is used to move the data from source to destination. Let's discuss the example for each addressing mode. Immediate addressing mode. For that we can take this example. Move A comma hash 05H. That means we are going to move the immediate data 05 to this accumulator directly. Okay. So next one is register addressing mode. So in this one we can transfer the content through the register. So move A comma R naught or move R1 comma E. So here we are going to transfer the data from R0 register to this accumulator for this accumulator to R1 register. Okay. For direct addressing mode we can consider the example move A comma 54H. That means we are going to transfer the content which is stored in this memory address 54 into this accumulator. Okay. So at this memory location 0 1 is the value that value is transferred to this accumulator. Similarly move 45H comma A. So in this we are going to transfer the content of this accumulator into this memory location. Okay. For indirect addressing mode we can consider the examples move a comma at r1 move at r2 comma 25h. So here this r1 register is having that memory location from which we can get that content. Okay. So this is the example for indirect addressing mode. Next one is move dptr comma hash 2314h. It is an immediate addressing mode. Here we are going to transfer the 16 bit content into this DPTR register. Okay. The next data transfer instruction is move X instruction. It is used to access the external data memory. Data memory means random access memory. Example move X A comma at R0. So it is going to copy the content of external 8 bit address which is stored in this R0 register into this accumulator. Do you all understand? So here we are going to access the external data memory using this move X instruction. The memory address is stored in this registers. Okay. So similarly we can have move X at R1 comma A. Okay. So here we are going to move the content of this accumulator to that external memory address which is stored in this R1 register. Move X A comma at DPTR. That is going to copy the content from the 16 bit address in DPTR to this accumulator. Okay. Similarly we can transfer that accumulator content into this DPTR which is having that external memory address. Okay. So the next one is instructions used to access external ROM or EEPROM that is read only memory represents program memory. Okay. So for that we can use that instruction move C. Okay, the example is move C A comma at A plus DPTR. So this instruction is used to copy the content of external read only memory address which is formed by adding the accumulator content and the DPTR value into this accumulator. Okay. One is data transfer instructions for stack operations. So for that two important instructions are used push and pop. Push instruction is used to transfer the data into the stack. Pop instruction is used to transfer the data from the stack to outside registers okay so example push b that means it is going to increment the stack pointer by one and move the content of the b register into that location addressed by that stack pointer okay so it is going to transfer the data from b register into stack memory okay pop a that means it is going to copy the content of 
stack pointer which is currently pointed into this accumulator and decrement that location by 1. Do you all understand? Last data transfer instruction is data exchange instruction. It is used to exchange the data between source and destination. Example, XCH A comma R0. That means the contents of the register R0 and accumulator both are exchanged. Okay. So here XCHD. Okay. This instruction used to exchange only the lower nipple of the registers. Okay. Here the upper nipple values are not affected. Only the lower nipple parts are getting exchanged. Okay. Next one is arithmetic instruction set. So these instructions are used to perform the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, increment, decrement and decimal operation. Flags which are affected by this arithmetic operations are carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, overflow flag and parity flag. So let's start with this addition related instruction. The first one is add. Okay, A, D, D and A, comma, source. So, this instruction is used to add the source operand to the accumulator and store the result in the accumulator itself. Okay, so here the source can be an immediate data, register or indirect memory address or memory address. Okay, let's discuss with an example for each addressing mode. So, here the first one is add A, comma, R0. That means we are going to add the contents of the accumulator and R0 register and store the result into this accumulator. It is a one byte instruction. Here it is register addressing mode type. The next one is add A comma 25H. So here this 25 represents the memory address. Okay. So we are going to add the contents of this accumulator and the content which is stored in this memory address 25. This is a 2 byte instruction because it is having the data value that is memory address value. Okay. So here it is direct addressing mode type. The next one is add a comma hash 05h. So here it is immediate addressing mode because the data is directly given in the instruction. It is a 2 byte instruction. One byte is for our code, another byte is for the data. The next instruction is add C, that is addition with carry. The previous instruction is going to add the content of the source and destination, not the carry. This instruction is used to add the carry also, okay. So here examples are add C, A comma R2. That means add the contents of accumulator and R2 register and also the carry, okay. So next add C A comma has 30H. Here it is that immediate data. This data is going to be added with that accumulator content and also the carry. Add C A comma 25H. Add C A comma at R0. This is indirect addressing mode. Okay. So the next one is subtraction. Here we are going to use only one instruction for the subtraction that is A C U B B A comma source. We are going to subtract the source operand and carry from the accumulator and store the result into this accumulator itself. So here example is sub a comma r1. That is we are going to subtract the content of this r1 and carry from this accumulator and the result will be stored in this accumulator. Okay. SUBB a comma 25H. It is a 2 byte instruction because one instruction for output, another one instruction for this data. Next sub a comma has 0 5 immediate addressing mode sub a comma at r2 that means indirect addressing mode okay in 8051 the unsigned 8 bit multiplication can be done by using the instruction m u l a b so this instruction is used to multiply the unsigned 8 bit integers in the a register and b register as we know that if we are going to multiply 8-bit data and 8-bit data, we can get 16-bit data as output. So we are going to store the lower byte of this multiplication result into this A register, higher byte of this multiplication result into this B register. If the result is greater than the maximum size FF, then we have to set the overflow flag. Okay. So next, division can be obtained by using that instruction DIV. 
Okay, so DIB, AB means it is used to divide the unsigned 8-bit integer in the accumulator by the unsigned 8-bit integer in B register. So here the quotient will be stored in this A register and remainder is stored in this B register. And then the decimal arithmetic instruction, it is mainly used for BCD addition. Okay, so DAA. That is decimal adjust accumulator for BCD addition. Okay. The result of the BCD addition should be a BCD1. For that we can use this DAA. Increment decrement instructions. Increment can be represented by this INC source. We are going to increment the content of the source by 1. We are going to add the value 1 to this accumulator. Okay. So INC R1 means Increment the content of this R1. INC05 means we are going to increment the content which is stored in this 05 location. Okay. So next one is decrement. Decrement means we are going to decrement the content of the given source by 1. That is subtraction by 1. Okay. Example DECA. We are going to subtract. 1 from the content of this accumulator, decrement R1, decrement 15H, decrement at